Thank you for joining in today's memorial service. Our campus memorial service has become a beautiful annual tradition now in its 11th year in which we come together to remember those members of our campus community who have died in the past year. Mary Catherine and I have been honored to participate in this lovely and solemn campus ritual during the eight years of my tenure. Today we remember by name some 60 members of our community who were taken from us. These include faculty, staff, students, emeriti, and retirees. <clears throat> no part of our community remains untouched. This year, we mourn the loss of nine students whose lives and great promise were cut short by death. Their brief time here at Berkeley has left an indelible mark on all those who knew and were inspired by them. Some of their families are with us today, proud that their children were students at Berkeley. We share in their terrible loss. The students whom we remember this afternoon were lost in tragic accidents and events or felled by illnesses to which we hope our researchers will one day find a cure. We mourn them all. Several, several of our faculty and staff were also sadly taken in the prime of their lives with much still to contribute. The loss of these fine lives and their potential has left our community poorer and is deeply felt by all of us. Others, many emeriti, faculty and staff retirees, have left us having lived long lives and made lasting contributions that have built Berkeley into the great university that it is today. These include a former beloved chancellor, Ira Michael Heyman. No matter how they died, each and every person whom we have lost this year was a vital member of our Cal family, whose loss we feel deeply. Those of us who knew and loved them mourned individually. Today, mourning our losses together affirms our connectedness and interdependence and bonds us as a deeply caring campus community. The names of those lives of our Cal family whom we are remembering today appear on our memorial stand. We do not include alumni in our list today as we are not sure that we would know all of them to honor. The Cal community is so vast with over 450,000 living alumni but we also think of them at this time. We also remember and honor all members of our community lost in prior years and all deceased family members, friends, and loved ones dear to us. Let us now take a moment of silence to honor all the departed of the Cal community, our faculty, staff, students, researchers, alumni, friends, and family. Thank you. I now invite Professor Elizabeth Deacon, Academic Senate Vice Chair for 2012-13, to come forward and begin reading the names of faculty, emeriti faculty, academics, and academic retirees. Academic fac and faculty, Shlomo Benton, Institute for Personality and Social Research, Yale Brownstein, School of Information. Wai Dong Li, Astronomy. Jean M. Peck, University Library. Joseph Joe Rosenthal, University Library. Joseph E. Rias, University Library. Emeriti. Kinsey Anderson, Physics and Space Sciences Laboratory. Hector Anton, Business. William Arvison, Mathematics. William Bade, Mathematics. 
Howard A. Byrne, Integrative Biology, Charles K. Ned Bursall, Electrical Engineering and Computer Science, Delmer M. Brown, Japanese History, Lewis Pete Buckland, Business, Thompson Clark, Philosophy, Fields Cobb, Environmental Science, Policy and Management, Gustavo Costa, Italian Studies, Kenneth Crake, Psychology, Kenneth Crow, Physics, William Godden, Civil and Environmental Engineering, Crawford Greenewalt, Classics, Ira Michael Heyman, Law, Shoshichi Kobayashi, Mathematics, James Leiby, School of Social Welfare, Wallace Matson, Philosophy, Thomas Mittler, Environmental Science Policy and Management, Joseph Penzian, Civil and Environmental Engineering, John Quigley, Economics, Public Policy and Business, Norman Rabkin, English, Robert A. Scalapino, Political Science and Asian Studies, Leon J. Lee Shipper, Energy and Resources Group, Johann Frederick Fritz Stahl, Philosophy, Reed Tuddenham, Natural Resources, excuse me, Reed Tuddenham, Psychology, James Vlamis, Natural Resources, Judith Wallerstein, Social Welfare, Harold Walensky, Political Science, Warren Winkelstein, Jr., Public Health, Paul A. Witherspoon, Material Science and Engineering, Eugene Zavarin, Forest Products Laboratory.
We honor and remember the following staff. Richard Batten, University Library. Mark Bray, Cal Performances. Ernest Cheek Kallenbach, University Press. Jimin Jimmy Chang, Marvel Nano Lab, Urso. Ray Colving, Public Affairs. Peter Diedrich, University Health Services. Veronica Eaglin, University Library. Cynthia Franco, Student Affairs and Office of the Registrar. Hector Garcia, Printing. Catherine Grimsley, Electrical Engineering and Computer Sciences. Miriam Mitchell Grodzins, Continuing Education of the Bar. Gerald B. Hollis, Physical Plant Campus Services. Philip Cruz, Environmental Health and Safety. Jeremy Lapidus, Audit and Advisory Services. Anthony Liu, Student Affairs and Office of the Registrar. Lourdes Martinez, Letters and Sciences, sorry, Letters and Science Ethnic Studies. John McAllister, Institute of Transportation Studies. Ian Nabashima, University Library. Kenneth E. Owen, Zoology. Polly Patterson, Law. Thomas Randall, Business. Norris Sanders, Center for Educational Partnerships. Takayuki Tak Seki, Undergraduate Advising. Scott Sherman, Alumni Association. Nancy Siegel, Environmental Health and Safety. Carol M. Slatten, Cancer Research Lab. Lois Sversky Gold, Carcinogenic Potency Project. Ronald D. Tipton, UCPD. Ronald Walpole, University Library. George Waters, Physical Plant Campus Services. Ann Wiseman, University Health Services. Michael Wilkies, Billing and Payment Services. Michael Wolf Siegel, Architecture. Timothy Zuniga, UCPD. Good afternoon. This afternoon, I will read you two poems. The first is by Sheswal Miwosh, who was a member of the Berkeley faculty and winner of the Nobel Prize in Literature in 1980. He passed away in 2004, and this piece is about his mother as he remembered her on his 74th birthday. It's called With Her. Those poor, arthritically swollen knees of my mother in an absent country, I think of them on my 74th birthday as I attend early mass at St. Mary Magdalene in Berkeley. A reading this Sunday from the Book of Wisdom about how God has not made death and does not rejoice in the annihilation of the living. A reading from the Gospel, according to Mark, about a little girl to whom he said, Talita kumi, this is for me, to make me rise from the dead and repeat the hope of those who lived before me in a fearful unity with her, with her pain of dying in a village near Danzig in a dark November when both the mournful Germans, old men and women, 
and evacuees from Lithuania would fall ill with typhus. Be with me, I say to her. My time has been short. Your words are now mine, deep inside me. It all seems now to have been a dream. And this uh, last piece is uh, by Joy Harjo, Native American poet. Uh, it's called Eagle Poem. And I'd like to dedicate it to my father, Almaki Rodriguez, who was a member of the Berkeley staff for 20 years and retired from here in 1990. He passed away in 2007. So I want to thank him for his Berkeley dream. Eagle Poem. To pray, you open your whole self to sky, to earth, to sun, to moon, to one whole voice that is you. And know there is more that you can't see, can't hear, can't know, except in moments steadily growing and in languages that aren't always sound, but other circles of motion, like eagle that Sunday morning over Salt River circled in blue sky, in wind, swept our hearts clean with sacred wings. We see you, see ourselves, and know that we must take the utmost care and kindness in all things. Breathe in, knowing we are made of all this, and breathe, knowing we are truly blessed, because we were born and die soon within a true circle of motion, like eagle rounding out the morning inside us. We pray that it will be done in beauty, in beauty. We honor and remember the following students. Undergraduate students. Uchechi, Comfort, Amici, Letters and Science. Vladimir Dababov, Business. Richard Din, Natural Resources. Kevin Lakanlale, Letters and Science. Milanka, Alicia, and Javier Lopez social welfare. Christopher Travis, business. Henry Treadway, natural resources. Graduate students. Vadim Karagodsky, electrical engineering and computer sciences. Andrew Maxwell, public health. Gregory McCauley, mechanical engineering and Cheng Chi, Chi, business.
I want to thank all of those who have participated in today's memorial, those who worked hard to prepare this event, and those who helped to make the UC Berkeley response a compassionate one when, whenever one of our community members passes away. Thank you all for attending. Please stay after the program concludes with the playing of Amazing Grace for light refreshments and to connect with family, friends, and colleagues who have shared in this special service.